Hello guys and welcome. It's Engineering Rebel and in this video I'm going to be building an electric guitar using these materials. So let's begin. So in order to complete this project I have this electric guitar kit from STEM. You could find this exact kit by going on STEM's website. So this kit would include obviously a neck template which is this paper piece a pickup coil along with the magnet to create induction. It also has a guitar string, an output jack, a jack plate, many nuts and bolts, a saddle, wing nuts, washer, screws, and even a guitar pick. Now putting the kit aside, you're also going to need some tools in order to complete this project. So you're going to need a drill with some bits, a pencil, a Phillips head screwdriver, and some glue. And finally, you're going to need two pieces of wood both that are three quarters of an inch thick. Now one would be about two inches wide and the other one should be plenty wide. There is no specific numbers for the wide piece because this piece will be for the body and depending on your style of guitar, the width can certainly vary. But this piece should definitely be at least two inches because this is gonna be the fretboard along with the headstock. So it shouldn't be too wide, but it should be wide enough to accommodate for those two pieces. Also, if you want to change the color of your guitar, you could spray paint it or even hand paint it. But personally, me, I'm going to use this stain. Now, there are many stains out there of all sorts of grains and colors. But personally, me, I prefer this red mahogany. And also, you should get a clear coat to seal your work so it could last longer and look more shinier. The first thing to do is to trace out the shape of your guitar's body as well as the fretboard so it can help guide you as you cut out the pieces. So when you're done tracing out your guitar, it should look something like this. Now the one in the instructions is one piece of wood, just like this. So in reality, it would have started from this line and would have went all the way here. Except to make mine look more like an electric guitar, I added a headstock and also a body. Now to make up for the body, I'm going to have to cut this little piece out so it can be shorter so it can compensate for this big piece. I also want to show you guys the measurements of where the parts will be placed. So this kit came with this template. So when I was making these fret lines, I laid out the template and I used this 90 degree ruler and put it just like so in order to make these lines. So you could see each individual fret line. And then from this crease on would go onto the body, just like I've said. So this would be the hole for your pickup coil. I would drill a hole in here. These two lines will indicate where the center of the body is so I can perfectly align my fretboard with my body. And these two lines is where the saddle will go. These X's are the pieces that are gonna be cut. So it'll just be this thin piece of wood. So now all I have to do is to cut out the headstock, the fretboard and the body. So let's go. Why is that, come on. Wow, look at it. It's all cut and almost ready to go. So all I have to do is to drill this hole and to sand the top as well as the edges and improve some of these rough points. But otherwise, it's looking pretty good. So everything has all been sanded, all been chamfered, and all the imperfections have had wood filler in them. And we even put in the little hole for the little coil. It's just looking amazing. It's absolutely insane in person. And we gave it one final sand on the face. I've checked everything. All the little curves on the edges are all even. It's looking pretty good. And especially the grain is very nice. On the other side, we sanded that part as well. And it's just looking insane. So now what I have to do is to stain it. And before I stain it, just to let you guys know on how I connected the fretboard with the body. So I had drilled two holes and I had had screws that went through the fretboard into the body holding these two pieces together. And then I put some wood filler over them and sanded it and now it's just very smooth. So when we put in the filler, you won't even notice. So the staining is all complete and I really love the grain and the color. I think it looks awesome. And here's the body. In real life, the grain, I like how it's kind of like a dark to light transition. So it kind of gives like this 3D effect. And I even did it in the little coil hole, so the white is not exposed. So now all that's left to do is to pretty much spray the clear coat, and I think it's going to look very nice. The clear coat has all been sprayed, and all that's left to do is pretty much to assemble the actual guitar with the strings and all the components. Okay, so now the first thing that I'm going to assemble are my frets. So I'm going to be using these thin copper wires, and I'm going to put them like this as the frets. 
And obviously I'm gonna use a little template so I could know where all the little frets will be placed precisely. So let's do that. So I've already glued my frets in place. All I need to do is to make my hole up here and one back here and also to glue both saddles into place. So I've already glued my frets in place. All I need to do is to drill the two holes to put my saddle as well as my nut. Now I have to put in my tuning knob into this little hole. So here's what I have so far. I've put in my little tuning knob. I have this little piece. I have all my frets. And I also have this little piece with the 1 8 hole. Next thing I have to do is to put in my coil into this hole and also to attach these pieces onto this plating. So the amplifier jack has been connected to that piece of plating. I also put in my coil along with its magnet. All I have to do is to strip the wires. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I put in my little plating. All I have to do is to solder these two wires to these two little pieces and then I can probably put in my string. It's all complete and I have to admit it looks pretty amazing. My string is in, my little plate, and it's all in tune. Before I end the video, let's see how it sounds. So I've already plugged it into an amplifier. So this wire is going all the way to my guitar. And you can see that it's put into its jack. And then these wires that I've soldered are going to this coil with this magnet in the middle. So this is what will create the induction when this little string vibrates. So let's see. All right, sounds pretty good. How the string vibrates, it creates induction. When I grab it, it stops. You can see how from the vibration it creates noise. That's the coil and the magnet doing their job. I also want to demonstrate that as you move along the fretboard, the pitch will change. So just watch. So. It's getting more higher pitch. So I'm going to do it once more before ending the video, except this time I'm going to hold my phone closer to the amplifier so you guys can hear it much better. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. More videos are to come and I'll see you guys in the next one.